Okay, so it's a new day. I'm currently charging these batteries up. Got the input, if it will focus for me. Got the input from the solar panels as 10 amps. Um, that's currently only using four solar panels. I disconnected the other eight, just so as a low input charge for the first charge. So it's currently absorbing, like it says down here, um, down the bottom there, initial charging current less than 37.8 amps. So I've just got this first initial current as 11 amps. It's later on in the Arvo, so it's about 3 or 4 p.m. Uh, I'm just going to let it slowly charge up, and then tomorrow I'll reconnect the other solar panels and then I'll get my full charge in. This is just for the first charge. So what I'm going to be doing now is working on the the water waste. This is um, grey water waste from the shower, which is that one. Um, and then the basin and kitchen sink, which is that one. So what I'm going to be doing is linking up the waste. So this one comes out here, elbow, and then into a T here and the, the basin will come down this one and the kitchen sink will come down this one as well and then they'll both exit out the wall and I'm going to be using those as grey water um, on the garden, lawn and all of that just a grey water irrigation system so don't mind these power wires where they are they're actually going to be moved they're actually fed into a continuous loop so once I cut them off um, at the right length I'm going to reroute this one out there somewhere and then just conduit it outside the wall and then this one into the box. So don't mind those. So I've got a few connectors in here. We've got some, some T-joiners, 90 degrees, and then there's a, another angled one as well, which is this one, which is, let's see if it says, 45 degree, so that should get me out of trouble. I've also got my primer and glue here, and a little trick I've seen a plumber do is he actually tape these together so you never lose them. And that that way, you've always got your primer and your glue in the same place. You're not using one without the other. So this is what he done. He just had them had them like that together. Wrapped a bit of tape around both of them. Like that. And then he wrapped it up here through the middle as well. And that's it, that keeps it all together. You can have one out, which is your glue, and then you can prime it as well. And that way, you never lose them. Okay, so I've got that pipe roughly where I want it. I've got the T on it, so that's where it's gonna go out the wall. So what I've gotta do now is go inside to where the basin's gonna sit mark it and cut it off to that length and there's going to be another t-join there and then after that cut a bit of pvc to come out here and then i join that 45 and that's what links it up to the t so i'm going to do that now okay so this is the bathroom i've got a raised floor just so i can hide these pipes underneath it so from the outside that we've marked Mark the correct length for this PVC. So now I want to put it in the center, in the center of this 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 floor area, and um, cut it off to join the T. So what I'm actually going to do is get the tape measure and measure end to end, find the center point, and that way I can mark it accurately. So there's my center mark. So what I'm going to do is sit that on directly in the center mark off where I need a cut which is 
if it will focus. Which is there, because that's how far from that distance there to there is how far it sits in that T. So I'm going to pull it apart, cut it off there, temporarily attach the T, the so I'm not going to glue it yet. I'm going to dry fit everything. Once I know it's all good, then I'm going to glue it. Okay, so there's my mark there. So what I do, get the hacksaw, I'll put it to the edge of this board, this table, and then cut it off square and then deburr it. So now I want to deburr it so you can run your blade through the inside there, get off all the rough parts and then go around the outside. You can probably do this different ways. You could probably even get sandpaper run around there. Nice and smooth. Somewhat like that. So there it is from inside the bathroom. I dry fitted the tea. That's gonna come up to a basin up here somewhere. And then it's also gonna run from there under the composting toilet through that hole and into the kitchen area where I'm going to have another sink. Okay, so now I've got that one fitted. I need to make it, take a measurement from the shower waste to fit in with this, this 45 elbow and then another measurement for the, in between them two. And then I should be able to dry fit those. Okay, so that's what I've got figured out shower waste there and then the waste for the basin and, and the kitchen and then I'm going to shoot it out there I'll be doing that tomorrow though I need to get a few more supplies um, so these pipes here they're for the shower so water one will be hot and cold they're actually the the quick fittings so this one's called shark bite and um, you buy these these angles and you just push them onto the pipe and that clamps it on tight so you don't actually need to solder it or weld it. So that's what I've got but I think I might move these uh, to the outside of the wall when I line it. So when I line it like that I'll probably have them mounted along the outside just so I can see them. Um, I've also got the solar panel currently working so it's completely charged. I let it charge at around 10 amps until it was full. I've still got those two, two, well, two, eight panels connected, disconnected, sorry. And um, I'll reconnect those in the morning and then I can get full charge in all the time. So there's the inverter working. I'm currently charging some, some drill batteries. So that's charging, that's why that's on. So that comes on and off, as you can probably hear. Currently in float mode. Batteries are sitting at 13.2 volts. And that's it, so so far it's working pretty good. Pretty happy with the whole setup. Um, tomorrow I'll go, I think I will, get an, um, a ground, a ground stake or an earth stake, put it in the ground and make sure I wire it up to this properly and finish off some plumbing. So that'll be, be it for today. Thanks for watching.